Good afternoon, George Cavaligos for HFT Bonds and Notes. Well, the rally continued again today, obviously. Um, again, most of it was last night. Um, the overnight trade continues to be the, <laughs> you know, the rocking trade, except for yesterday's rally. But, uh, you know, the market uh, shot up last night. We got right up around that 132 uh, even handle, and then we saw some selling come in just before the London session open, 1 a.m. Chicago time, usually the uh, 2 a.m. hour is the big, uh, you know, event window when London opens. Um, I got to imagine we saw some selling from our friends in Asia. Um, we threw up on the hourly charts a big reversal candle against that 131, uh, I'm sorry, 132.30. Been in the 131 handle for so long, <laughs> I keep repeating it. But we got up... Uh, just below the 133 handle, we saw some sellers come in. Um, the market traded all the way back down to 15 early this morning, 132.15, and uh, turned around and traded right back up to 132.28. So we're uh, setting up a little uh, possible ABC. The sell off was your A wave down to 15, B wave up to 28, C wave should take you down to 15 to 13 area. And market profile stuff is showing real good support at 12 plus. So I'm looking in that 12 plus to 15 area t tonight to try and find some bullish reversal activity to put on along down there. Um, equities did rebound a bit today. Um, not very convincingly, I guess, is what some people would say. Um, you look at the uh, price action, it uh, has a lot of overlap. Um, I think it could have a bit more upside to go. Um, a lot of uh, S&P things are pointing towards a rally back up towards 1504. That might uh, give us this dip tonight back down to that uh, 1213 area on the uh, tenure. I think if we see that dip, um, we get any kind of bullish activity down there, take a shot on the buy side. And right now, I think we're just going to consolidate up here for a little bit and see what happens. We had that monster rally. We, uh, we need to consolidate. Um, I'd love to see us uh, trade around here for a little while, and then uh, we'll see what happens with the equity markets over the next couple days as we get in towards the end of this week. Remember, Friday's March 1st. That's when this sequester is supposed to kick in. And it's also month end. That typically, you know, along with the rollover, which uh, goes through basically the end of this week, too. Um, remember, the pit switches and the electronic system switch, the... Uh, June contract becomes the front month, I believe, Thursday morning with the uh, pit session open. So we'll have to watch that. And again, you can trade the March contracts pretty much through Friday. And if you notice, a lot of the uh, algorithmic traders will continue to trade the March contract through Friday, and then they'll roll over their programs on the weekend. I'll try to switch some of my uh, analysis uh, slowly over as we get close to Thursday. Um, it's tough, obviously, because the markets are very active. So you've got my uh, short-term scenario. I think we see a bit of a pullback tonight, maybe into tomorrow morning, some back and filling. Again, we get Chairman Bernanke tomorrow. You know, and uh, we're going through the rollover, which is bullish. We're going through the month end week, which is bullish for, for Treasuries. And, uh, you know, you don't want to fight it too hard yet. Um, you know, again, we're in a consolidation phase. I think you could probably trade it, you know, from both sides here. But you got to be ready to flip if we're showing any kind of signs of a breakout. Maybe you draw a trend line off of uh, last night's highs and this morning's highs and use that as your stop level. And if we do take out, you know, one of those hot that trend line or those highs, you definitely want to be looking for higher prices, a new high of some type. All right, that's the game plan. Um, Jimmy Iorio, um, coming up here in a few minutes. Check out his uh, currency uh, trades on uh, HFT, I'm sorry, hamzianalytics.net on the blog site. You can check out uh, some of Jim's currency trades. They're doing a webinar in another uh, 45 minutes here at uh, 4 o'clock Chicago time. Come and join us. We would love to have you. And uh, that's about it, guys. Um, any feedback? Always looking. Um, a couple guys uh, came in for a free trial. I think people that were picking up on the video and uh, just turned away real quick, never even came into the chat room. So if you guys have any kind of feedback, 
what I can do better, what I'm doing poorly, I'd appreciate it. Constructive criticism is always uh, looked for. All right, guys, have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. If I see anything, I'll poke it out on the Twitter feed tonight, but uh, going to take it easy tonight and get some rest. Have a great one.